Pinellas County authorities are using heavy equipment and even shovels and rakes to dig up an empty lot near the Pinellas Trail. The detectives there following up on cold cases involving three missing women from the 70s and 80s. And today, the daughter of one of those missing women is hopeful that the large-scale effort brings her family some answers. News Channel East Jeff Patterson joining us now live in Pinellas County with the story. Jeff. Good evening, Keith and Jen. Pinellas County authorities have been using that heavy equipment all day long here on this vacant lot. First, they used the heavy equipment to dig up these large piles of dirt. Then they used rakes and shovels to sift through that dirt looking for answers. It's a vacant lot now, but this was once the location of several homes, and this dirt may be sitting on top of a decades-old mystery involving three missing women. The photo that I'm holding is my mother. Her name is Rita Hires. She disappeared December 28th, 1982. Dana Hires was just a young girl the last time she saw her mother near here. She still remembers exactly what her mother was wearing the last time they said goodbye. I can remember her just waving by, telling us that she loved us. It's the last time I saw her. Hire says her mother was in a relationship with another man, and the same man had relationships with two other missing women. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office has named a suspect in the missing persons case, but says he has died. Aid on your side isn't naming the man because he's never been charged in these cases. But Dana Hires is convinced that man had something to do with her mother's disappearance. This is what I think happened. Every woman he gets involved with, I've heard, they try and break off the relationship, they disappear. And she and her family now hope this effort brings answers. It's been too long, too long. I've worked on this for over 30 years myself. Myself has been working on this for almost 30 years myself. I've never given up. You can certainly understand her emotion in this. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office has not yet told us if they have found anything at this site, but Keith, they do say they expect to continue working tomorrow. Well, they're certainly focused on this uh, specific location. Did any of the victims live? anywhere around here, Jeff? Keith, it's our understanding the three victims lived near this area and the, the suspect named by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office once owned this property in the 70s and 80s and that's the time frame that we're talking about. And that's the connection. All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live in Pinellas County. Thank you.